Well, what's going on guys sharp shot here hope you guys are having a great day so far so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at killer clowns from outer space the game and we're going to be seeing five things that this new asymmetrical horror game might do better than dvd so for those of you guys that don't know what this game is about it's a 3v7 asymmetrical horror game based on the 80s cult classic movie killer clowns from outer space and this game is being developed by the executive producer of friday the 13th the game which we all know what that game is it was dvd's biggest competitor back in the day and there isn't any gameplay trailer out yet for this game but we do know that you get to play as five classes of either humans or clowns which are like the survivors and killers so the humans have three ways of winning the game and the clowns just have to capture all of the humans in order to win and they're all playing on one giant map which looks like a carnival called crescent cove which is the town that the killer clowns from outer space movie is set in it's really early on into its development and on on their website it says they're going to be launching with a beta in early 2023 so probably in the next few months so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video the first thing that this game does better than dvd is that it's a unique 3v7 with npcs i don't think i've ever seen an asymmetrical horror game go the route of 3v7 and the fact that there's multiple players on both sides means that there's going to be teamwork on both sides the clowns are going to be able to work together to capture the humans and in each class for the clowns they have powers that help their own clowns and for example speeds up the clowns near them or heals the clowns near them and on the human side they can also work together to save each other and to progress the objectives to win the game what's really interesting about this is that there's also human npcs so it makes the game seem like a pvp ve which i've never seen in a symmetrical horror game and these human npcs can be interacted with on both sides the clowns can interact with these npcs see humans exactly like they would the regular humans and they can capture them and everything and the humans can interact with them in the sense that they can work on objectives with them and they can also save them from getting captured by the clowns and on both sides you actually don't know the difference between a real human and an npc human before you actually interact with them so overall it makes the game feel a lot bigger than it actually is because it just makes the human side seem like there's way more people the clowns are always going to be action packed and chasing either real humans or npc humans and the uh, uh, NPC humans are going to be working together with real people to progress the game and save each other. And a really cool feature with these human NPCs is that if you die as a human, you can respawn as an NPC and keep playing in the match. Kind of like in CSGO, when you die, you could just take control of a bot that's still alive, which will give the human side multiple lives and you won't be able to get tunneled like you would in DVD and be out of the trial in two minutes because you'll be able to just respawn as an NPC. The second thing that this game does better than the DVD is that there's multiple ways to win as humans there's three ways for the humans to escape so it'll differ from dvd and only being able to work on gens to either get to hatch or exit gates to escape there's gonna be a lot more variety in your human gameplay which will also create more variety in your killer gameplay and having to counter multiple ways of escaping the first is by deactivating the clown's big top spaceship which is what the clowns came to earth with in the movie the second is by escaping the map before the time runs out and the third is by keeping most of the townsfolk alive before the end of the round another unique part about this is that with the npc humans this third way of escaping means that you're not only protecting yourself from dying but you're also protecting the npc humans from getting killed by the clowns and throw all of these ways of escaping the humans can even fight back against the clowns by picking up items and weapons around the map and the key weapons that you can pick up are the scout cotton candy ray gun the popcorn bazookas the tracker cotton candy ray gun the fighter con candy ray gun and the trapper con candy ray gun all of these can potentially even kill the clowns on the other side because the clowns themselves also have a health pool the third thing that this game does better than dvd is having a random roll queue feature when you queue up for a match in this game it's not like dvd where you get to pick if you want to queue up a survivor or a killer you queue up all at once and you randomly get placed as a human or a clown this is the case even if you're in a party so if you queue up with three of your friends it might happen that one friend gets the clown and two friends get humans so on the optimistic side of things this will make the game feel like there's a ton of variety to it where your gameplay isn't always going to be the same thing over and over because you never know what side you're going to be on and in a party you can also make friendly competition but on the pessimistic side of things if you really hate one side versus the other you're gonna have a miserable time playing if you get the wrong side and in a party if you guys just want to play together and have fun and not face against each 
each other, then this might not be very fun. But before you do queue up, you can pick your preferred class for each side. And I'm not 100% sure if you're able to pick your preferred role before you queue up for a match, but I think that'd be a really nice feature to have. The fourth thing this game does better than DVD is having a really unique proximity chat. Just like any standard proximity chat they have in any video game, both sides can talk and the closer you are to the person talking, the louder and clearer they speak. But the really unique part of this proximity chat that I've never seen any video game, not just an asymmetrical horror game do, is that the clowns can fully understand the humans when they speak, but not the other way around. If the clowns speak, the survivors can't understand them because they're speaking in clownish. So you'll just be hearing noises. You won't actually hear what the clowns are saying. But if the clowns want to trick the humans, they can turn off the clownish and start speaking in a human language that they can understand. So that's a mind game where the humans will think that it's another human talking, which will lure them closer to a clown. So it won't be like a DVD where you don't have any communication at all, but it won't be OP where it's like a swift and only survivors can hear each other. The clowns actually have the advantage in the communication aspect, which is really cool. Finally, the fifth thing that I think this game does better than DVD is that there's five classes for both sides. Having classes instead of perks like in DVD will avoid having metas and there's always going to be a direct variety in the classes that you pick where each class is completely different from the other ones and each side has 10 attributes and each class is better or worse at each attribute. So just to quickly introduce each class I'll be listing the name of the class and you can pause the video to read the short description about it but for the five clown classes there's Jumbo the Scout which was kind of like a jack of all trades. There's Shorty the Fighter who's really quick and really strong. There's Chubby the Tank who's a tank. There's Spiky the Tracker who's really good at tracking humans. And there's Rudy the Trapster who sets traps. And going on to the human side there's the Bikers, there's the Cops, there's the Punks, there's the Rednecks, and then there's the Teens. So now I'm going to be putting up a table with both sides and what each class is better or worse at attribute wise. As you can see each class for both sides is very different from the other ones. So like I was mentioning earlier there's going to be a lot of variety where if you pick between the brawler or the ranger for example it'll feel like a completely different game so yeah guys that was just a little bit about killer clowns from outer space the game just to get my thoughts on it i think it looks like a very polished asymmetrical horror game with tons of content right off the bat and it's a nice little bonus that's from the executive producer of friday the 13th which means that they actually know what they're doing and if i were to say what this game is most similar to i would say it's a mixture between friday the 13th and the vhs friday the 13th in the sense that there is multiple ways for the humans to win and you're all fighting on one big map and vhs in the sense that it's an 80s themed cartoonish retro and really colorful vibes to it not everything is perfect with this game i do have a few concerns about it the first is that it's a paid game the devs call it a premium feature where you pay initially for the game but every update that follows is going to be free unlike dvd where it's cheap up front and you have to pay for each DLC after that. And in the long run, this game will actually be cheaper than DVD will be, but it'll also turn some people off from buying it initially. So you can also view this as a positive. Another concern I have is that this game seems pretty human-sided because of the NPC humans and the fact that survivors can respawn as those NPCs. So as the clowns, it'll feel like you keep knocking down the humans and they just keep getting back up with the NPCs. It's not even a 3v7. It's a 3v7 plus however NPC humans there are. And there's also multiple ways for those humans to win. So that might become pretty difficult to counter as the clowns. The biggest concern I have is that it's locked into one franchise, which is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. They might fall under the similar fate that Evil Dead the game did. And I really hope it doesn't because I really thought Evil Dead had a chance to compete against DVD. And I really think that this game does too. So yeah, guys, those are the five things I think Killer Clowns the game might do better than DVD. Let me know your overall thoughts about this game if you're going to sign up for the beta are you excited to play it let me know all of that in the comments below i signed up for the beta i'm going to be playing it when it comes out on twitch at twitch.tv slash sharp so make sure you follow me over there so you can watch me play killer clowns when it comes out so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and sharp subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i'll see you guys in the next video